Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be exploring, unpacking, and seeing what I have in my makeup kit. Um, I always get people asking me what they should buy or what I use. And I'm just gonna show you briefly what I use for storage and how I pack my kit. This is gonna be a long one. So this is my kit. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty boring at the moment because yeah, it's, everything is packed away, but I will try and work through it as fast as I can so that this video isn't too long. I'm gonna start with my storage. So most of my bags are from Woolies and this uh, hand luggage is from Amazon. I think I got it for $40 um, But you could just use like any kind of hand luggage. I found that this was the easiest way to transport everything um, Those big old makeup cases don't really work for me anymore. It's too bulky and too much. So I'm going to show you these this Thing all of these bags are from Woolies. You buy them in a set So a set is $2.99 and it contains one big bag with three smaller bags inside. I feel like these bags are the perfect size. I keep all of my foundations in another one, powders, eyeshadows, and then just some glitters. Okay, so this is the first bag. Let's start with like skincare, cleaning, and uh, all of those things. I really like this bag because I like focusing on skin more than anything else. I feel like if you've got a good prepped skin, then you don't have to apply as much makeup. So in this bag, I have Marcella water from Garnier. This is just gonna help you to clean the skin. Then I have some serums um, and some tonics, face masks and moisturizers. These are all from Pixie Beauty. I have a few different Fix Plus sprays from MAC. This was the limited edition one. It is a pineapple flavored one. Then I just have a mini. I also have the mattifying one. So this would be normal one, mattifying one. And this would be the, the gold light one. So it's got some shimmers in them. So all of these have different functions. That, why, that is why I have four of them instead of just one. I like the mini ones because these are easy to just throw in a handbag or a set bag if you are traveling. Another setting spray that I like is Wet n Wild. It's the natural finish one. This one is basically empty, so I have to stock up again. And then I have a face oil from uh, Pink Cosmetics. And I also have a Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic and Vitamin B5 serum from Pink Cosmetics. These, are, these two are a favorite in my kit and I use them on almost everyone. Sanitizer and hand and nail cream from, these are both from Sorbet. Okay, this is the next little bag. This is one of the three bags that come in the Willys bag. I use this one for my foundations. It's the perfect size for everything to be standing up. So this bag has foundations and concealers. I don't actually have that many foundations. I have a few basic shades. And I don't really use primers in my kit. Um, I just do moisturizing. If someone has really pigmented skin, I will use a gloss um, primer underneath just to neutralize the skin. But this is basically what I have as foundations. I've got uh, four basic colors. Then I also have a face and body, which is really lighter coverage. I also have my gloss drops. So if someone needs a foundation adjusted, I also have a cover fix one, which is slightly darker, which would go the same as the gosh one. So if I need to adjust it, I can just make it darker. And then I also have a few samples of really dark shades. Um, I know my client base. So if I know that my client is going to be slightly darker, I would just get some foundation for that. And also just an odd foundation from Makeup Revolution. This one is one that I mostly use on myself. My favorite concealer is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's one of my favorites. 
also have the concealers in four different shades from Cover FX. These are pretty cool and they have quite a lot of coverage. So my foundation um, kit is actually not that big. Um, I don't find that I need anything more and like I said, if I need a different shade, I will just pick that up at the store. Moving on to loose powders, bronzers and highlighters. So I have, I think I have one from Offer. This one is called Blissful. And this is the MAC palette. I think it was a limited edition one, so it's got quite a few shades. Nice golds and pinks. For setting powders, I actually only have two. I have mineralized medium and my cover effect translucent powder. So I actually only have two in my kit. I have two other ones that are for darker skins, but that could be a contour as well. Contouring, I have the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is my favorite one at the moment, and I also use my MAC Swiss Chocolate to contour with. And then I have another bronzer. This one is also from Ofra. This one's really nice. Very nice. Guys, I don't know how to make this any more interesting than it is over to eyes this is probably the more exciting one so I have a bunch of liquid eyeshadows I think these are the favorites when it comes to doing makeup yeah so I have three from cover fix two from pixie one from Glossier and then two from MAC. This used to be my all time favorite until I found this little guy that does a lot of sparkles. One of my latest videos, I use this on the eyes and it is stunning. But if you can't find this one, this one would do from MAC. It is called Everyday Sunshine. So those are liquid and foiled eyeshadows. A bunch of pigments. One is from Ofra. It is a nice brick orange. A silver one. A bronzy one and then also brow products I have a little brow kit from benefit I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and I have the true brunette from Mac which is also a brow pomade and then I have a cream eyeshadow which is also from Mac it's like a paint pot and then Lash glue, which should not be in this bag, but lash glue and black track is the liner that I use to do wings and liquid liner with. This is also one of my favorite. I really like a glossy lip. I'm not a big liquid lipstick fan. That's why I only have, I think, I only have three, four liquid lipsticks in my kit. And they are not bright colors at all. One of my favorite lipsticks in my kit is from Maria Cosmetics. Look at the packaging. And it is a pinky nude lipstick. As you can see, it's called Velvet Virginia. The owner of the company is a cutie pie. I love Andrea so much. I do have a lot of glosses. Moving those aside. This one is from Gosh Cosmetics from MAC. Nastasha Beverly Hills. This is a lip balm from Glossier. And I also have a lip scrub from Pink Cosmetics, which I usually use to scrub the client's lips with so that anything that goes on afterwards does not peel off and last a bit longer. Then my MAC Clear Gloss. This goes on my eyes more than anything else. I've also got a few lipsticks. These, this is a limited edition one with a nice like maroon dark shade. This one is from Max New Range. This is a really nice color because it goes with almost everyone. Gloss, you can see it all goes in the same kind of shade. This is a nice red, matte powder red from MAC. And then I have a bunch of my MAC lipsticks that I decanted into little pots. So I just write all the names on the bottom. I'll do two boring bags. So this one of oh, this bag I use for all my lashes. I don't use strip lashes at all. The only lashes I use are individual, so these little pieces. I like using them because 
a strap kind of holds a lot of tension so as soon as the corners start loosening the whole thing comes off and I feel like these are a really good idea like if the client is gonna have to wear the lashes for the whole night so they're gonna stay on longer personal preference nothing wrong with using a lash band and then these are some practical things um, for uh, any working makeup artist I have some brush cleaner from pink cosmetics this always goes with me in case I need to clean a brush some hair clips some tissues a sharpener tape some more highlighters these I use for your body this is from cover effects and then some spoolies because spoolies like these little brushes because you can't use a mascara on your clients and then just dip it back in just to keep them safe from any infections and so on so this is like a necessities bag if that makes any sense bag all my glitters from lemonhead la i will still do a swatch video of these but these glitters are absolutely stunning i have quite a few of their colors that they sent me for Halloween and the looks I created I still want to do a few of these you can get super creative with them and the product itself is so opaque these are my babies probably my the favorite part of my kit I don't get to use them that often not that I want to because I want them to last forever though Next bag is for liners and mascaras. This is also one of my favorite bags because I feel like liners make a big difference in a makeup look. So most of my liners are either from MAC or from NYX. So I've got a bunch of liners or from Essence. I think I've got a few from Essence. Yeah, let's divide them. So Essence. NYX. And this one is from Gosh. It's a double sided one. The one's a felt tip side and the other one is like a cream liner side. So most of these liners are bright colors like greens, turquoises, uh, navy blues, reds and pinks. These are all creative liners from the NYX um, color um, range. I use them for uh, like colorful looks or if I need to be drawing something for body paint or special effects. Favorite lip liners are all from MAC. One of my favorites is called Soar. The other is edge to edge. So these two are really close together, but edge to edge is a lot more pink than Soar is. Then Whirl is also a very popular one. And absolutely, it is one of my favorites. Then an eyeliner pencil I always use is called Teddy. It is a brown liner with a gold shimmer in it. It's a lot better than using a black one because I feel like black is very dead on the eye. So this just brightens up the eye. Then a brow pencil from Benefit just to highlight the brow bone and then I've got two more nude liners for either the brow or the waterline and the mascaras I have are from Essence, Gosh and MAC this one I use on the bottom lash line because it is waterproof and your bride will be crying or sweating either one of the two this one works best for the bottom lash line then I have a few more pencils from Essence. I feel like these are an easy way to just change the undertone if you're like using a nude lipstick. I have a little special effects bag. This is my cover effects bag. So in this bag I have some like single paints. Just like colors of body paint. I also have wax. And most importantly is my injury wheel. So I can do like any kind of cuts, bruises and injuries from just using this little guy. Then just some Vaseline to help you get these things off. And spread gum if you want to stick things to your face. Perfect! Okay, this is probably the part everyone was waiting for. To see my palettes or what eyeshadow palettes I have. 
well, like I said, I don't actually have a lot of palettes. Um, I think I've learned how to work with the things I know I need. So these are the things I use most. One of my most used palettes is the Zulu palette by Juvia's. It looks like this. These are my two favorite shades to use because I feel like they make every eye color pop. Um, even though they don't have to look like that on the skin. I also like using this palette to like scrape the powder and mix it with the gloss from MAC just to like create some interesting things on the eyes. And also have a blush palette from Elegance Cosmetics. This is like my favorite blush palette because I feel like it caters for all skin tones. I usually just mix those two or those two for any clients. Yeah, I feel like this is a nice and versatile palette. And also a new palette from Pixi Cosmetics. It's nice berry tones, warm tones and oranges. Also have this massive body bronzer, um, sun bronzer from Gosh. You can see it's pretty, pretty big. It's big as my hand, but this is a really nice one to have. I also like using the compact mirror when filming. Also have this concealer palette, but I have not used it a lot. Uh, it's more um, aimed towards like doing dark skins. Uh, dark skins don't usually need as much foundation, so I'd rather just touch it up with some concealer. Then another MAC eyeshadow palette, but this one's pretty empty. Don't know why I still have it, because I don't need it. And this one's probably one of my favorite. I got this from a friend. Her name is Debbie Lodens. She is amazing. She gifted me this, and it is a bunch of MAC lipsticks that are decanted. So this is really practical, and I absolutely love the way this is packaged. I have an uh, eyeshadow palette from Inglot with some neutrals, golds, and bronzes. A neutral palette from Urban Decay. I use these purples quite a lot and also the brick shades. This is a little eyebrow palette from Inglot that I built. And my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette is from Gosh. It's called Rock Down Under, and these are my favorite shades i use them on almost every client basically every client well that is it for my video i know it was not really in depth there was no swatches but if you have any questions you can just leave them in the comments i will also leave more details to the bags in the description i hope you liked this video if you found any of the things that i showed helpful please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that and then I would love to see you on the next video. I hope you have an absolutely blessed day. And um, uh, goodbye.